So bullying is one of those frequently debated issues in the media. Things such as causes, solutions, how students deal with bullying themselves, how teachers deal with bullying, so on and so forth, right? You see, what's inspired this video is a new story I read the other day, along with a few of my own personal experiences with being bullied in school. So what inspired this is this little incident where a student from an undisclosed school in the Lower North Island was goaded into attempting to kill themselves twice on a school trip, which was followed by teachers doing absolutely nothing to help solve the problem. Now you see, bullying sucks. Bullying really sucks, especially when you feel you have no one to have your back and you feel like there's nowhere to turn to. Because this sort of thing is not unfamiliar with me. I mean, I was bullied as a kid. I mean, does that really surprise anybody? Just fucking look at me. But I was bullied as a kid and it fucking sucks. I was bullied most of my way through school. And it sounds like not a hell of a lot has changed, to be honest, since I graduated. Because it seems like the same amount of absolutely fucking nothing is being done, really, to solve the problem in schools. I mean, yeah, admittedly, you have one or two teachers care, but for the most part, a lot of schools say they have a zero-tolerance policy on bullying. Most schools are full of shit because most schools don't really care about students being bullied. Let's put it this way, that opinion personally is inspired by my own experiences. And I put it to you this way, okay? Schools care about bullying, it just depends on who you are. You see, you will never ever see rich kids getting victimized at school. If they are someone that is connected to a teacher at the school, or they are someone with some worth to that school's image, then that bullying will be dealt with with the most bloody, wicked force you have ever seen in your lifetime. Meanwhile, if it's just some poor kid who nobody gives a shit about, then the bullying continues and not a hell of a lot is done to stop it. Especially if the bullies themselves are those kids that make the school look good. Because let's be honest, you could be some broke kid bullying, you know, I don't know, fucking some academic genius and you will be fucking dealt with. You will be gone from that school if you are that poor kid bullying that academic genius. Provided that academic genius is well known within your local town and is providing benefits for the school. Because the school can't have their top students being bullied out of school, can they? It would make the school look terrible. Meanwhile, if it's the other way around, if it's some really, really smart kid picking on some poor nobody who's never done anything to anybody, then that poor kid is going to continue to be a victim until they learn to stand up for themselves. And I'm not saying you have to put up with it if you're a victim of bullying in schools. Don't. Stand up for yourselves. Find someone because somebody will listen and someone will teach you coping strategies and someone will help you deal with it. I'm just saying that a lot of schools that claim zero tolerance are full of shit and only have zero tolerance in certain situations. Let's put it this way. I was well known as a troublemaker in school by a lot of the faculty at the high school I went to. Therefore, in any incident involving me, it was automatically assumed I was the troublemaker. I could be just minding my own business and I would get jumped in a hallway by somebody and the automatic assumption would be that I provoked it somehow. And that happens a lot these days because I've seen it happen in my hometown just recently. There was an incident where some kid got beat up and nobody really did anything because the kid that got beat up was some nobody mug whereas the guy that fucking did it was the son of some teacher at the school, so they didn't do jack shit to fucking discipline him. You got a slap with a wet bus ticket and that's all. I mean, what was the maximum penalty at my high school? You know, if you're one of those rich kids. A couple of days of after school rubbish pickup? Bullshit. To me, this zero tolerance thing should mean zero tolerance. 
If you are bullying someone and you are making someone's life hell, you are a problem. You need to be dealt with. If you are harassing someone and making their life a living hell, you need to be punished. Now, I know I've often said that people need to harden up a little bit when it comes to name calling and shit. But when it's name calling on a personal level, face to face, at a school where it is making someone's life utterly fucking miserable and they can't escape it, then yeah, the person inflicting the bullying needs to be dealt with. Now, while I am a firm believer in standing up for yourself because it definitely helps, if you take no shit because bullies often pick on people they think won't fight back and will back down the minute they're stood up to. I do think that there need to be consequences for being a piece of shit, especially when that leads to someone attempting to kill themselves. But as I say, you know, a lot of schools claim zero tolerance, but it's just good PR. If you are someone who is well known to a faculty, they will assume you are stirring up shit. Hell. Let's go back even further than high school. Primary school. See, I was going through an incident where I was getting picked on by a bunch of people and you know what they did to solve the problem? They sent me to another school, okay? These little shitheads were allowed to continue their academic career, fucking bonza, because I was looked at as the problem, I got shipped off to another school. And I don't like to talk about my personal life that much because I know about the types of people lurking around this channel. But fuck it, you know? I feel like this needs to be talked about because I'm sick of seeing fucking schools in the New Zealand media saying, We absolutely care about our students. We will not tolerate bullying in our hallowed halls. Bullshit. You don't tolerate bullying in your hallowed halls if it's one of your star athletes or some shit. If it's just some poor, broke-ass, decile one Maori kid then they are going to be fucking picked on because nobody cares about little Hemi Hiramaya, the son of a single mother who's working two jobs. They do care about Jeff Smith, the all-star, all-academic son of the fucking principal because we couldn't have the principal's son getting cracked down on, can we? And this happens all the time. I have seen people get away at high school with bullying because they're really good at running a ball down a field. New Zealand schools have plenty of tolerance for bullying. They turn a blind eye to that shit all the fucking time. I find any school saying they've got zero tolerance for bullying should have zero tolerance. Zero tolerance means zero tolerance, not zero tolerance with an asterisk. That's the problem with a lot of kids these days. They feel like they have nobody to turn to because they get picked on and nothing happens. Nine times out of ten, your everyday student is looked at as if they themselves are the problem for being a bully. And that's not right. What we need to do is we need to calm down on bullies. When students are encouraging other students to off themselves, those students need to be met with a strict punishment. I don't believe bullying should be tolerated in schools. Okay? I believe that students need to be looked after. High school, primary school, growing up in New Zealand can be a bitch of a thing if you are slightly different. You don't need other people reminding you all the time that you are different and making you feel fucking miserable because of it. And I don't feel that people making you miserable because you're different should be allowed to get away with it scot-free. Yeah, sure. Some people grow up. Some people grow out of being bullied. I've had some of my childhood bullies come up to me and, you know, apologize. And we're good mates these days and I wish them well and, you know, we get along perfectly fine. But some of them have grown up and are still complete pieces of shit because nobody reined them in. It's pathetic. Zero tolerance, my ass. So... This school didn't get named in the article, I'm guessing, again, for PR reasons. Whoever the fuck this school is, they need to sort these little pricks out and do something about it. And other schools around the country need to sort this shit out, okay? It's been a long-ass time since I've stepped foot in the school, but from the sounds of things, shit still hasn't changed, and it certainly hasn't changed for the better. It's bullshit. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.